Hello, welcome to another Feed Scroll Generator video for Autodesk Inventor. This is the app that allows you to automatically create beautifully smooth feed screw geometry directly inside of Inventor. This time we're looking at an automatic tool built into the app which allows you to bring in previously created 3D solid models to represent the bottle that is going to be moving along the screw. So as we saw in tutorials one and two, you can sketch any bottle shape that you want in a 2D sketch. You can import a 2D bottle profile from AutoCAD or another 2D system, or you can import a 3D bottle profile and use that to create the cut along the shaft. And that's what we're covering in this video. So we've got an example shaft here, which has been created by importing this solid model. This is quite a simple one, although you can see it's got uh, compound curves. It's a lofted shape. This is the one that we'll start off with in this tutorial. Here's a slightly more complex bottle that I downloaded off of GrabCAD. And here's an even more complex bottle, looks like a washing up liquid bottle, that I also downloaded from GrabCAD. And what I think we'll do later on in this video is take a look at how you can clean up some geometry for a 3D model that you might receive of a bottle in order to make it suitable for the app. Uh, there's one specific thing you'll need to do for that is to make all the surfaces tangential to each other so that there's no sharp edges on the bottle and uh, if you're not familiar with the the surfacing modeling tools inside inventor then hopefully this video later on in this video can help you to uh, to be comfortable with performing those kind of cleanup operations but uh, let's create a new part file to start off with and we'll import that first bottle solid body that you saw a moment ago and show how we can uh, simply sort of manipulate that, move that around, get it in the right position in order to hit generate and create the shaft. So inside an empty part file, I'm going to hit generate here. And then because this tutorial is focusing on the import of the 3D bottle solid, we're gonna skip everything else for the time being. It's covered in other videos and we're gonna head straight for this import 3D bottle solid body button. And when we do this, we'll get a, a browse a window and I'm going to browse to find the, uh, the bottle solid. So at the moment, we're supporting import of step files or inventor part files. Obviously, if you have a different format like IGIS or SAT or Parasolid or something like that, what you'll have to do is to import it into an inventor part file first and then just use, use this option here. So this is actually what I've done. In this case, I've imported a bottle into this uh, inventor part file called bottle one. So I'm just gonna um, double click on this to pick it. And now what we get is the wizard for importing any solid bodies that are found within the part file that we've selected. So you can see I can toggle between any solid bodies that are in the part. That's the first thing. So I want this 400 milliliter one. And then I can use these buttons to rotate. So that will rotate in, in the horizontal direction, this one, the other direction and so on and so forth until you can get the bottle in the position that you want. So actually this is the position that I want the bottle to be in. You see it's actually centered the bottle solid on this point. This is the origin point of the center of the bottle. If you remember from the second tutorial uh, we needed to position the 2D profile of the bottle on the center point of a point in a sketch uh, it was called bottle sketch. This is doing the same thing. It's positioning this solid body on the center of that point by volume. If we want to raise the solid body up and down, at the moment you see it's positioned in the center, we can use these arrows to move it up and down, or we can type in a number here. So, you know, if I know, for instance, I want the bottom of the bottle to be, let's say, 68 millimeters below the shaft axis. Then if I type in 12 and hit enter, you'll see then that I can get that. So this distance here from this point to the bottom of the bottle is currently 68 millimeters. If you know that value, then you can use this to tweak until you get the exact value that you want there. In this case, I don't particularly care about that option. So I'm going to just leave it completely centered. Okay, and once you're happy with the position of it, you can hit OK, and it will then import that 3D solid into this part and show you the normal preview. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got inside the form here for the moment. You can see we've got a tick next to the import 3D solid button here, 
and we can switch between the two nice and easily. So if we wanted to switch back to sketching a 2D bottle profile, if I hit this button here, it's gonna ask me, do you want to delete the imported 3D solid and define the bottle with a 2D sketch instead? I'm gonna say no, because I want to keep this 3D solid. If I want to bring in a different 3D solid to overwrite the current one, I can just hit this button again, and that will allow me to import a different one. So I'll just show you that. If I pick this step file this time, it's going to have a look inside that step file. This is the one we're going to do in a moment. And see, I could bring in this step file here and import that, but I'm going to cancel out of that without doing it. Head back to the form where it was. Okay, so you see complete flexibility to switch between 2D sketched bottle profiles and imported 3D models. The imported 3D model is saved inside this part if you need to close it and reopen it again at a later point. Okay, so before we go and look at some of the more in-depth problems you might have with importing uh, 3D solids, maybe let's configure this shaft and run a build so that we can see it. So I'll just make changes enough to make the build sensible. Let's adjust the, the pitch at the start. Need to make sure that my bottles are not overlapping. Although, of course, it will still build even if they are overlapping. And let's make the end pitch something like that maybe more let's maybe make the shaft a bit longer okay that's looking quite sensible to me in terms of a possible design so uh, I think I'm good now to run a preview why not actually let's uh, let's save this part and then let's run a uh, preview build just to check what it's going to look like again quite a simple design so it's not going to be too complex you see actually the preview here is running much slower than usual the reason for this is because inventors doing boolean calculations taking these bottles subtracting them from the shaft um, it looks like it's got 164 of those to do for the preview build of course it's more complex to do that if we're using a lofted 3d solid for the bottle rather than just a constant profile 2d sketch that's been extruded Okay, so it probably is worth doing a preview build here. We can see the design that we're going to get out of this. Let's say yes, I do want to continue with another operation and we will hit go on the actual build itself. Okay, for this example, we probably don't need a lot of loft profiles and loft rails. So we'll keep the, uh, the sliders low so that the speed doesn't take too long to build. And uh, let's just have a look at how long this is likely to take. See, it's processing all these Boolean chunks now going much slower than before as I, as I mentioned because it's got inventor's got much more work to do under the bonnet so I will speed the video up here and I'll see you again in a second Okay, that shaft's created in exactly three minutes. Um, I'll say no, I don't want to continue with another operation just because I want to, um, in fact, I do need to continue with another operation because I want to show you the, the fit between the bottle and the shaft so that we can check the accuracy. So I'm going to hit simulate here. That's going to build the normal simulation for me. Okay, and I can just hit the play button as usual. It's got to go and build the um, snapshots, uh, the frames for the video, if we're going to uh, see a nice smooth video playing. And now it's built those 70 snapshots. We can see a nice smooth video playing here. Remember I hit delete on the keyboard if I want to stop the uh, simulation from playing. And remember as well, just a reminder, I can then right click and change the speed of the uh, simulation playing. So if I make it four times, I can hit run on there. Remember, I can spin it round. Okay, so I'll hit, uh, I'll hit delete again in order to stop the simulation. But I want to just quickly show you the fit between the bottles and the shaft. So I'll turn on a half section view here 
and as we've done before in previous videos I'll just show you quickly that the fit there is a very good quality one so you can see perfect fit here let's scroll that down perfect fit as the bottle rolls around the shaft there Okay, so it's effectively a perfect fit between the bottles and the shaft there. Let's let's hit back to head back to the, the part and let's hit cancel to get out of the builder. Okay, so that was a success using this imported lofted 3D solid. I mentioned at the start of this video that we'd show some more detailed steps you can use to clean up any bottle geometry that you receive or download that is not already tangential and smooth for use with the app. So check out the next tutorial if you want to follow those instructions. Thanks a lot for watching.